Crete lies like a barrier across the Aegean and Libyan seas. A bridge between east and west, its rugged mountains with their unique range of flora and fauna gashed by some of the most spectacular gorges in Europe. An island steeped in history and cultural tradition. The birthplace of the first European civilization and of its most ancient myths. Cretan history is a unique blend of influences, Minoan, Classical, Byzantine, Venetian and Turkish. Independence and union with Greece added yet other elements. In the city's neoclassical architecture, European dress and style of living. Yet despite these pressures for change, Cretan culture proved resilient, especially in mountain villages, maintaining tradition while adapting to the new, a process continuing in our times. Western Crete is dominated by the mass of the Lefka Ori, shining with summer light and winter snow, giving them their name, the White Mountains. To the north, hills recede in waves towards the coastal plains, but to the south, mountains rise sheer from the sea. Rain and meltwater from the high peaks feed huge underground stores of water that break out in springs in the foothills, feeding streams and lakes making this the greenest part of the island. Second in size of the cities of Crete and capital of its prefecture, Hanyai is a city of character, a fascinating blend of influences. It is also a thriving modern city with a rich cultural life connected through its port at Suda and the airport on the Akrotiri with international destinations. With its mild climate, healthy diet and abundant opportunities for sports and outdoor activities, Crete is an ideal place for the development of new forms of tourism, away from the coasts and the crowds. A tourism in harmony with nature. Owing to its geological history that at various times has raised it from and submerged it into the sea, connected it, then cut it off from Greece and Asia, Crete is like a small continent with a full range of climatic and vegetational zones, from alpine to semi-desert. Its plant life is particularly diverse, with a total of 1,600 species and subspecies, 217 of which are unique to the island. Gorge flora is especially rich. In spring, the meadows and pastures are ablaze with flowers. Crete is particularly rich in eagles, vultures and hawks, including many rare and endangered species, chief of which is the bearded vulture or Yepaitos which though it has been nearly eliminated from the Balkans, survives here with just a few breeding pairs. These huge birds, with a wingspan of up to three meters, can be seen feeding from the observatory on the peak of Mount Aios Thikios. Among the rare animal species that are found in the mountains are the Agrimi or Krikri, a wild goat known since Minoan times. Sea turtles, careta careta, come ashore to lay their eggs on beaches around the coast. The Society for the Protection of the Sea Turtle has been set up to guard them from the disruption caused by coastal development. In order to preserve this biological diversity, 20 areas in western Crete, covering more than 50% of the area, have been declared protective parts of the European network Natura 2000, under a European directive for the conservation of ecosystems. 
Crete is an island of gorges. There are over 30 just in the west. Testimony to the enormous forces released by the subduction of the African beneath the European plate, resulting in the island's uplift. Each of these gorges has its own character, range of species and level of difficulty, ranging from those which can be easily passed in an hour or so, to others requiring a whole day's strenuous hiking. Chief among Cretan gorges is the famous Gorge of Samaria, one of the deepest and longest in Europe, visited by thousands of visitors from the beginning of May to the end of October. Another distinctive feature of the island are the mountain plains, of which there are about 25, including that of Omalos, at a height of just over 1,000 meters, and Askifu, route centers for walkers. Mm -hmm.